Hey, what's going on guys? It's me Aiden. Welcome back to Miraculous Monday. Last week we did not hit a bingo. Uh, this week we should have a new bingo card that's a little bit updated, so uh, maybe that'll be a little bit easier because it has been quite some time. Uh, just keep in mind, a few weeks from now we are going to be on the 100th episode of this series, which I plan to live stream. Now here's the thing, we have two different options. We could either A, do it on Saturday, which is when I actually record these episodes, or we could do it on Monday like usual. Now the reason why I might not want to do a live stream on a Monday is because some people may have school, so they might not be able to attend it on Monday. So I, I don't know. So I'm thinking, I'm leaning more towards a Saturday, um, just because, you know, it's a weekend, and plus it's when I normally record these, so it'll just make it easier on my end. Um, so I think that's the plan, but if you have any other ideas, let me know down in the comments. But without any further ado, let's go ahead and hop right into this video. No need for context. The umbrella is the best matchmaker? Hmm. But what about the almighty door? We haven't seen any appreciation for the almighty door recently. Hmm. Well, I guess it's the ultimate battle, the umbrella and the almighty door. We've seen the umbrella in the Origins episode, and then we've seen the door in the New York special. Which, I mean, for being honest, the New York special doesn't have too much of an impact on the series, so... I mean, I guess I could see why maybe the umbrella would come out on top there, but, you know, I like the almighty door better. I think it has more of a personality. <laughs> Adrian really is the best. He's always there for Marinette. Gave courage to Marinette for her hat competition in Mr. Pigeon. The entire umbrella scene in Origins. Hey, look at that. It came back. <laughs> Praised her abilities in front of Audrey Bourgeois in Style Queen. Had a speech about how awesome Marinette is in front of the entire class on Heroes Day. Uh, is the only one who sat next to her in Chameleon, made her a lucky charm for her birthday. Uh, he's the reason why Marinette wasn't expelled in Ly or in Ladybug. He blackmailed Layla. <laughs> uh, the Adrian at Moonlight Dance in the New York special. Hey, the New York special came back, although it wasn't the door, it was just this. I mean, yeah, I guess so, but like... Th okay, here's the thing though, right? They're friends. This is what friends should do. So like, you know, it's not really, um you know, anything that we wouldn't expect, because, like, these are all things that you'd want to do for a friend, right? I mean, for the most part, I think, right? I mean, I, I don't know, maybe I'm wrong, but I would just think that these are all things that friends should do. And uh, I'm sure there's plenty of other times where Ollie has done the same thing for Marinette, so, uh, you know, it's just, it's just, they're, they're just a friend, you know, it's good friends. Cat Noir's full power. More power, more power, maximum power, the banana noir. <laughs> oh man, we're gonna get our full share of bananas on May 11th for with Banana Queen. Man, they really like the bananas in this show, don't they? I think, well, I mean, they, they rate everything so far in advance. So I, I don't know if they predicted that the banana noir would become like a meme or whatever, but like, you know, if if they did then that was good on them because they definitely did um and they incorporated it quite frequently throughout season three and maybe throughout season four as well so uh yeah who is is banana noir your favorite version of cat noir let's see there's banana noir there's cat noir box noir cat belong any others let me know down in the comments which one's your favorite a meme for you all Jeremy Zag, it is just gonna be a kids show. It doesn't have to be gripping or romantic, Thomas. Yeah, let's let's do some of those things. Well, okay, here's the thing though, right? That's good. That means older people can enjoy it as well. Like, you know, that they've got the deeper topics and stuff like that, and that's good. You know, season one, definitely more or definitely less of all the deeper topics and stuff, but as the show goes on, it has developed and evolved. I think they realize that the fan base is a little bit older than their target audience. So that's why they've sort of like shifted um, over to the more, um, I would say like preteen to teenager uh, like target audience. Whereas like the first season was maybe like, you know, um, like younger kids or like elementary to middle school. So probably more elementary, but. Um, yeah, they've definitely shifted it, and I appreciate that, because that means it makes it more enjoyable. Never pause this show. <laughs> uh, <laughs> this is a good one. Oh, man. This is when they were at, like, uh, I don't remember what episode this was. Maybe it was Roger Cop or something. I don't remember, but I, I sort of remember this scene. 
I don't remember anything other than that though. This is interesting. It's <laughs> I don't know what kind of hairstyle this is, but it's I, I've seen it. It's like a front bun or whatever. I don't know what it is, but I feel like I recognize this sort of hairstyle. And it's funny, it's like, whoa, Ladybug, you trying out a new hairstyle there? <laughs> oh man, this is funny. It's unfortunate though, because there's not as many when DQ animates it. Like, when, when SAMG does it, there's a lot of, like, funny frames like this, but when DQ does it, 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 it just doesn't happen for whatever reason. So I don't know, I'm gonna miss it. When your brain reminds you there are only two people. Adrianette, Lady Noir. Lady Noir and... <laughs> uh, this is... <laughs> oh, man, I love this. Okay, I have a confession to make. I may have made this, like, um, last week or something. I don't remember when I made this, or some sort of confession. You know how I used to, like, ship Adrian it? Now I don't. I mean, I do, but, like, that's not that's not my OTP anymore. It's Lady Noir, which I know is super weird, because, like, I've always been Adrian it. But, like, no. I have to make a video on it, and my reasoning is good. But it's, it's just crazy. I never thought this day would come, but I feel like I've evolved. I've realized... Um, my the error in my ways and I've corrected that way error and um, I'm good now so yes let me know if you have adjusted your thoughts of that down in the comments below every time someone asks them are you two in love no says ladybug yes says cat noir yes you know cat noir you know where it's at he knows everything just kidding he doesn't although <sighs> makes me curious though right like because he was like sort of serious with I, okay he was serious with kagami but he was like he was tricking himself into being serious he wasn't like he didn't actually know what he was getting himself into right he was sort of like pushed in he was like being pushed by um by kagami he didn't really have any time to think for himself with, uh, with that situation right um so i wonder if he's still like thinks that he likes Kagami, or if he's still like, yeah, I like Ladybug still, or what's, I, I don't know, we just haven't seen enough of season four to tell yet, and I'm interested to see, because, um, this is where it's at, these two, this is the best, the OTP now, <laughs> different hairstyles of Marinette, pigtails, long pigtails, bun, double bun, hair down, braid, add that other one, front bun, <laughs> uh, then you'd have seven, is there more than this? I don't know. But this is interesting. I haven't really, like, taken a good look at the back of the head. It's always just been the front. That's interesting. Very cool. Although you could definitely tell that uh, DQ got their hands on this one. <laughs> you can't see any individual braids. I mean, that could just be the lower quality of it, but, like, you know, it's just... It, it looks like just a color. It doesn't look like that there's actual hair. <laughs> that's funny. Oh, yeah. That's interesting. I don't know. I think... I like the long one, that one's cool, but I think my favorite one's just the original. It's hard to go wrong with the original. No, Gloob Moth, don't do it! Release season 4 episodes in order. Gloob, release the season 4 episodes out of order. Yeah, because Gloob likes to be evil. Because for, I don't, I don't know, they just like, I think, here's, here's the thing. I think they're like, haha, Gloob, the channel, will get more recognition and will be in the news and talked about more. It'll be good advertising if we air them first. Which, I mean, they're not wrong. But, like, here's the thing. It's not like anybody, like, it's, 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 it's a worldwide thing. So, I mean, like, I mean, sure, some people in Brazil are going to see it. But, like, the majority of people are outside of Brazil and they can't watch it. So, it's like... <laughs> it's, it's like it, it doesn't do you any good gloob but you know whatever i don't know just i wish i wish they would think about things a little bit more at least they didn't air gang of secrets out of order right hopefully they have some sense where if it's like big things are going down maybe they won't air it so i i don't know uh i just wish they would uh think about what the community wants a little bit more before they just go ahead and be like haha we're gonna release it uh even though nobody wants us to just, what the heck is this? Ah, uh, we got Baymax. Ba is that his name? It's been a while since I've seen um, Big Hero 6. I think it's Baymax, right? Uh, but it's a Marinette version. Yeah, I don't know what this is. I don't I don't necessarily like it, though. I, this is, um... Yeah, I, I don't know. I'm just gonna move on. I, I don't know how to feel about this one. 
Not only did you swap your Kwamis, but you also swapped your personalities. You see, this is what I'm saying. Like, you can't tell me that the Kwamis don't have an influence on on the person that they inhabit. Like, that just doesn't make sense. Like, come on. Like, Plague makes Adrian more punny and funny, okay? Adrian isn't normally like that. I mean, sure, a little bit, but like, Plague amplifies that, right? Marinette, you know, she can be confident sometimes, but Tiki amplifies that confidence. You can't tell me they don't have an impact. So I, I don't, I don't know. <sighs> it's weird. Like, it, I know Thomas has said like, yeah, the Kwamis don't mean anything. They don't, they don't impact the personalities, but I find that hard to believe, you know, just even just a little bit, you know, <sighs> I don't know, man. I'm just, <laughs> I'm always going to have that stance because it just, it doesn't make sense for them not to. Just something I made. Another SpongeBob one. Regular Ladybug fans waiting for the reveal in season one. <laughs> season uh, 182,846 coming out, and Miraculous Ladybug fans still waiting. Uh, <laughs> yeah, well, I mean, we don't know. It could happen sooner or later. We, we don't know. I guess it depends. <sighs> we could never see it. That's that's the that's the horrible thing. We could just never see it, which would be sad. I'm hoping that we do, but like, I, I don't know, I don't know, it's sad, but we'll just have to wait and see, I guess. Oh boy, more waiting. Pretty much. Mr. Ramier having a minor inconvenience. Hawkmoth ready to akumatize him. Was this made after the uh, Mr. Pigeon 72 announcement? This was only a day ago, so it could have been. I, I mean, that makes sense. That's weird. Typically, if we get news, like, like we got that news yesterday, right? I'm going to make a video on it later today, which, I mean, it'll be out by the time you're watching this video. Um, but, like, typically when we get news or new episodes, and it's, like, the day before I record these videos, then typically we don't see anything. But that was quick. That jumped up, like, really fast. Interesting. Uh, but, yeah, if you haven't seen the news, I mean, which... I mean, if you, if you have not seen my news video, highly recommend you go check it out. But, um, you know, Mr. Pigeon 72, the fourth episode. So, <laughs> oh boy, Mr. Pigeon returns. When bullying works. Cat Noir, the old version from the movie Upgrade. Cat Noir with his normal eyes, perfect. Yes, I agree. He looks much better now. Although, I wouldn't call this bullying because it was a mistake right like they definitely did not mean for this or if they did this was just a concept and they messed up the concept right because this does not look like a scene from a movie because it doesn't have a background right so my guess is this is just sort of a concept and they messed up the eyes and so jeremy was like all right let's post this new image because you know now we have you know new images and stuff like that so i don't know i think it was just a mistake they didn't actually intend for it to be this way and it's not like we we changed anything we were just like hey yeah definitely want to fix that because that's a mistake we just let them know of the mistake so um but yes this was a well-deserved change ladybug with her hair down oh that's interesting although i will say this is a lot like curvier has more curves and and uh waves than her usual uh hair that's down does so i don't know if this is an accurate representation but it looks pretty good i like it some Lady Noir I drew. Yes, let's go. Man, this is weird. Yeah, my brain's still getting used to, to uh, shipping this one more than Adrian. That, that's so weird. It's so wacky. I didn't expect to, to have this realization, but... Oh, man. I don't know how to handle this because I don't, I don't change my ships very often. I mean, okay, it's a little bit different, right? Like, it's not like I'm going from, like, you know, the, the, the love square to you know like luke and that right that, that, it's not like that big of a change because they're still technically the same people but like i don't know this is weird i've never had this feeling before so i'm still computing how to uh work with this emotions <laughs> oh man but yes yeah it looks very good i like it the closest adrian has gotten to a hug from his dad in a while that's so sad i don't it's so sad why would you do this this is this was from Ladybug, I think, right? I'm pretty sure this was Ladybug. Ah, man, you know, just just imagine if if Gabriel actually hugged Adrian, maybe he would have realized that hey, this is maybe his father. I don't know, probably not, but you know, just saying, could have had maybe some sort of realization, but he didn't. Ah, man, this is very sad. Olia, the Lady Noir shipper. 
okay, sure, but like, at the same time, they're heroes, they're friends, I, I, I don't know. But if you do, there's nothing wrong with that. I appreciate that. You know what? You know what's good. You know the OTP. <laughs> Chloe, after Style Queen, be like, I am once again asking for the Beam Miraculous, <laughs> uh, but she never got it. I mean, well, she did, but like, you know, she uh, definitely she didn't. She wasn't meant to have it in the first place, and that's why she never got it again. Ah, uh, too bad, so sad. Now your half-sister has it, so I, I don't know. It's gonna be interesting to see how you feel about that, because, uh... Well, I mean, I think I already know, but, like, you know, just... Ah, oh, man, that's gotta hurt. That's gotta sting a little bit. And for the top post of the week, it's been a long way. Hi, I'm Miraculous Season 1. I can come off as silly, but I'm still super cute and fun. I introduced the complicated ship called the Love Square and the crazy high jinx that come with it. Okay, season two, and I'm season two. I'm also cute, but now I have a little added drama and plot, uh, progressing plot. Uh, I'm season three. I have world building, character development, and experimental episodes that will have you wanting more. I also have cinematic and very sad, and a very sad, very sad season finale. A very sad season finale that will punch you in the feels, not to brag or anything. And like season two finale better. Uh, just saying. Season four. <laughs> uh. That's funny. Not to mention, you also had the repeating bad episodes. So, you know, like, like, Stormy Weather 2. <laughs> oh well, you know, it's, it's fine. I mean, you've got, you've got Mr. Pigeon 72, so. Ah, <laughs> oh, man. But yeah, season four, coming in hot. Very hot. Sort of like. The lit cigarette that this guy has, or this season four has in this photo. Oh wait, there's more. Oh, season four. I'm depressed, angsty, and I need serious therapy. If you, uh, if you thought any of your ships or thieves were gonna fly with me, you thought wrong. Even the love square. I love who? Never heard of him. The only ship I might give a crap about is Lady. Oh yes, let's go. Yeah. But never say never, kid. Who's to say I won't sink that ship too? I'm only getting started. You're a monster. Yeah, well, it's a good monster, okay. It'll all work out, hopefully. I didn't realize there was more. I thought it was ending there. But yes, everyone seems to realize that Lady Noir is now the new OTP. It's looking good. I like it. I like it a lot. But anyway, guys, that's going to be it for this video. If you did enjoy, you can leave a like and subscribe for more content similar to this. And I will see you in the next one. Goodbye. Let me know down in the comments which one you're serving. <laughs> Are you two in love? No. Yes. <laughs> that was a bad laugh. <laughs> oh no. I don't even know. The closest. The closest. Yes.